Hi everyone and welcome to your week 7 upper body workout. So today we're going to feel your arms, shoulders, abs, back, the whole deal. So what you'll be needing is your dumbbells, mat, water and then if you're ready then let's get started. So we're going to start with our leg raises. What you're going to do, place yourselves on the mat. You're going to make your diamond shape with your fingers, place it under your tailbone, lift your legs and your hips a little bit up and then lower down just in front of touching the floor. And then you're going to go right back up for your lower abdominal. exercise for your lower abdomen and if you want to make yourself a little bit more harder you can press pause and just stay with your feet a little bit above the floor and just hover there next up is going to be for your abs and your shoulders we are going to do our superman push-ups so you can place your hands under your shoulders into a high plank and then you're going to push just a little bit your elbows outwards or if you want to attack more your triceps you can go backwards so, left knee going towards your left elbow and the other way. And then you're gonna feel like a Spider-Man. Last three each side. One right and left. Whew. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. We're gonna go right back into our ab bikes. Place your back on the floor and then you're gonna place your fingers on the temple of your head and you're gonna go switch, alternate in order to feel those obliques. Lay down on your back. Obliques should be burning right now. <laughs> That's good. Grab your dumbbells because we're already at the last exercise of the first round. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells and what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat and press. Place your feet shoulder width. You're gonna squat down like so and you're gonna squeeze your glutes and then press up. Here we're gonna do our glutes and our shoulders. Squat down, press, like so.
gonna hold down four, three, stay there with me, two, you're gonna stay low like a crab, let your squat down. Pulses, if you have really lower back issues, place your weights like so. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, grab your water because round one is done. If you need a little bit more time to rest, then press pause and drink a little bit more, not too much because we're, gonna, we're doing our upper body, so you don't want the water going in your stomach like so. So you're going to place yourself into a high plank for our next exercise. First one of round number two, mountain climbers. Remember those? You can choose if you want to attack more your obliques or your front abs. You can go sideways for your obliques, for your side abs, or in front like so. Make sure your mat is clear. High plank. And if you accelerate, you've got to be also a little bit cardiovascular. down. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Feel it in your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Child's pose. Relax those, relax those abs. And we're gonna go attack our chicken wings. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna do our tricep push-ups. You can do them on your knees gonna place yourself like a normal push-up. However, what you're gonna be doing is you're not gonna go outwards with your elbows. However, you're gonna go inwards next to your body like so, and then go back up. If this is too hard for you, then remember the tricep dips that we did on the chair. You can do that too. exercise is going to be for your side abs. We're going to alternate right and left. You'll be placing your elbow 90 degrees under your shoulder. We have two options here. Three options actually. First easy option, place your foot in front of your knee, go up and stay here. If not, you can place your both feet like so and stay here. Or third option is twist while doing this. I'll be showing you the third option and then you're gonna follow with your level. Make sure that you're twisting your whole body with Last 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, whoop, 3, 2, and 1. If you did it okay, you should feel it on the side of the abs facing the mat. Change your body to the other side, and let's do the other way. Try to keep the same option you used for the first one. 
make yourself your parallel with the mat. Go up and twist. Or you can just stay here. Seconds, twist your body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You should feel them right here. All right, grab your weight for the last exercise of the second round. We're going to do our Russian V twists. If you don't have your weight, use a puppy your child, big ball, little water. You're gonna place yourself or your feet on the floor or up, and then you're gonna go twist. And after that, you can have a sip of water. That means that you're halfway. Make sure that you're going almost falling on the floor in order to engage the abs the most. Last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put those weights on the floor, grab your water, I'm so proud of you. Continue with me. We're gonna go into our third round, which were the leg raises. You don't need your weights. You're gonna place yourself on the mat. Make sure you're doing your diamond shape under your tailbone in order to ensure that your mat is glued on the, your mat, your back is glued on the mat. And then let's get started. for you guys. All right, our super woman push-ups. Or men, depending. I'm just curious, are any men doing my workouts? If so, then comment down below. All right, superman push-ups. Place yourself in a high plank. You don't have to go all the way like a normal push-up. Just a small bend in your elbows. And it's gonna make sure you engage your abs while doing this exercise. back, back on your back for our ab bites. Place your fingers on the temple of your forehead and whenever you're doing this workout, this exercise, make sure that you're not putting your elbows together but they're open like so.
while finishing this exercise, make sure you give your knees a little hug in order to relax those abs. All right, last exercise of the third round. Grab your dumbbells, two kilos or three kilos, and we're going to do our squat and press. Place your dumbbells in front of you. Your feet are hip width. Squat down, squeeze your glutes, and press up. Squat, squeeze, and press. Whenever you're squeezing your glutes, when doing any squats exercises or glutes exercises, it creates more resistance for your booty in order to have that round peach booty that we all want. Make sure you're squatting low as you can. Last five single repetitions. And then we're going to go into our little pulses. One more. Stay down like a crab and pulse or place your weights in front of your chest. 10 seconds more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Shake your legs. All right, next up is our last round already. I'm drinking my water with cucumber today. It's super refreshing, very nice. Okay, last round, and then the only thing we're gonna be doing is our plank challenge. We're going to continue with our mountain climbers. Hands are under your shoulders, and make sure that you're crossing or your knee's going towards your, your knee is going like so, or you're crossing like so. If you're ready, place yourself in a high plank. Make sure that you're not going so, because here you're not engaging your abs. When doing this at a fast pace, you're making also cardiovascular activity instead of only engaging your abs, which means perfect fat burn. Last 10 seconds, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Child's pose to relax those abs. We got three more exercises to go. Tricep push-ups. So again, if you thought that exercise was too hard on your knees, then grab a chair for your to attack your triceps. This is, by the way, triceps and biceps, just so you know. All right, place yourself on your knees and we're going to go dip down with your elbows next to your body. It's hard, you guys. Woo. Last two. And last one. Get that last repetition out. Wow. You'll see, when doing my guide more, you'll see that these go easier. So next up is our side plank. What we'll be doing is you're gonna place your elbows 90 degrees under your shoulders. Remember our three options. First option, you're gonna place your foot in front of your knee and just stay like so. Second option, stay like so. And third option, you can come along with me and twist.
face. Feel the burn here. That's good. On the side. Other elbow under your shoulder. Lift yourself up. Up. Keep smiling. And then twist. If you're twisting, not only twisting your arm, but your whole body. There's a reason why that rhymes. Okay, grab your dumbbells before doing our plank challenge. We're gonna go into our V-twist. Russian V-twist, easy option. Place your feet on the floor and just a little bit harder. Go up and then twist. Keep your chin up. Last 10 seconds. I know you got this after this plank and then you're done. Woo. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow. I'm so proud of you guys. Tap on the shoulder. But before ending, or you can grab a sip of water, or you can go right into your plank challenge. I'm gonna take a sip. Even lifting my ball hurts. <laughs> that means we did a good job. After this workout, if you're feeling sore, make sure that you check up our up on our upper body stretching routine. All right. If you're ready for our last plank challenge, put your feet a little bit wider apart. You know, I'm suffering too, but I'm with you guys. Come on. Whew. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't forget to breathe. If you're shaking like me, whew, that's fine. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. And then you can collapse. I'm so proud of you guys. Thumbs up for you, pat on the shoulder. Make sure that you're checking with me on hashtag feel fantastic so I can leave a little comment on your picture and see how you're doing. This is your upper body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for the video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.